Reminiscence from 2021. It's got Hugh Jackman, got Rebecca Ferguson, and Danny Newton. I've never heard of it. And that usually means it's bad. Is it? Find out after the theme song. Kyle's Reviews. Kyle's Reviews. So, Reminiscence from 2021. If you want to watch it, check the link in the description below. This is a Blade Runner wannabe with Shades of Chinatown and also has, uh, people say, Inception, but actually has a lot in common setting-wise with the Rudger Hauer movie Split Second, which I reviewed, but it's not really as fun. Like Split Second, Reminiscence takes place in the future where uh, climate change has sort of ruined the world. The, the sea level has risen, and so everything's wet. In Reminiscence, we're in Miami, and it's largely flooded, like all the, you know, everything, like the first and second floors of all the, the big buildings are underwater, but people are still living in, like, the skyscrapers, the upper levels, and people get, there's water, like, in the streets, even the ones that aren't totally flooded, and people are mostly getting around by boat. Hugh Jackman runs a business where he can pe have, help people relive their memories, through putting him in this, like a sensory deprivation tank and wiring him up. And then there's a huge hologram, like 20 feet across. And um, Dandy Newton is like his assistant slash only friend. Uh, they'll see somehow, even though everybody but the ultra rich is barely getting by. Jackman, like I said, has this enormous office with must be with what must be really expensive equipment. Uh, even like he gets called by the police to help, but they even got like a cheaper version. So even he, they don't have as good a version as he does. I haven't seen a rig like this since the war. Government cutbacks. Two D's all they spring for now for offsites. And he also seems to have a big apartment and he seems to be able to fly back and forth from Miami to New Orleans at the drop of a hat. And anyway, Rebecca Ferguson is a woman uh, she's a singer. He falls in love with her and then she disappears. Does she have a dark secret and a mysterious past? Oh, you bet she does. So the rest of the movie is trying to figure out where, what happened to her. Where is she at? Is she alive? Is she dead? What's her story? So you could really strip away all of the sci-fi memory stuff. And it would basically be the same movie. A guy going around trying to figure out what happened to the woman he loved. They don't really make much use of the memory stuff. I, th I think mostly the, the visualization basically gives them an ex easy way to do like flashbacks. So, you know, he can put someone that knew her in the tank and then we can have a flat. He can see it and then we can do the flashback. There's a little bit of, oh, what you think is going on now is actually a memory, but they don't do a lot with it. I mean, it would be a lot more interesting if they did mess around with what's real what's a memory until the very end they don't really do much with that the acting's fine um it's just slow it, it thinks it's a lot more clever than it is which makes sense because the director she was involved in the westworld tv show which definitely thought it was really smart but it wasn't um i'm kind of curious about the filming of it because even though Jackman and Ferguson's characters are in a couple, a relationship. We don't really see them together as much. It's a lot of Jackman going around, finding people that knew her character. And then we see flashbacks to her and this other person. Um, so I wonder if they're working around availability. Um, as I said, Ferguson's character is a singer. But I looked it up and it doesn't look like she really sings. Uh, apparently, I never saw it. They were in... Ferguson and Jackman were in the 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 uh, Ringling Brothers, Baron Bailey circus movie, and they had someone she was lip syncing in that. So I'm guessing she doesn't really sing. Um, but enough dwell on the past. I give Reminiscence one thumb up. Dwelling in the past, I don't recommend this one. Go watch something else. That's the bottom line. 
I got nothing else to say. I'm going to the Coliseum.